So first up, more bad news. Wells dumping chain link in mass, says data. And when we go over this, I want you to take this with a grain of salt because you have to understand that uh, these whales, I mean, whales are whales and they're only here for a finite amount of time. I think it's going to be changed on the horizon. So according to data provided by crypto analytics firm Santiment, the number of link addresses that hold from 100,000 to 10 million tokens has been on the decline since August 6th. The headline grabbing crypto corrected to uh, corrected by almost 27% after reaching a lifetime peak of $20.10 on August 16th. So yeah, just uh, three days ago, it was up pretty massively. And I got to tell you, once it started to go up uh, past 9, past 10, past 11, uh, you could take a look at some traders were like, hey, I don't think it's going to go past this. And I went 12 and then 14 and then 15. Take a look at the RSI, uh, the strength index, and you could see it was over uh, overbought, but still kept going up. And uh, here we are. I mean, it went up to $20 and retraced back to 16, almost 17. But I mean, hey, um, you can't uh, be too unhappy about that. And there's been there was videos that I did along the way where people were continuously asking me, hey, should I get into Chainlink? Should I get into Chainlink? It's going to be huge. It hurts me awesome. It's going to be $100. And I said, just calm down. Just relax. I've, this is not my first rodeo. I've been in this game before. And I can tell you right now that uh, what goes up will invariably come down. So don't bet the farm on it. you know. And this is what people ask me like at $17, $18, $19. I'm like, don't bet the farm. Dollar cost average in. Buy a little bit here. You know, Wait for two, three, seven, 14 days, whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. And then buy some more. Um, because you know, you never know. If if you think that oh it's gonna go up forever, well, guess what? It's not. If you just dollar cost average in, it's just a safer way to do things. That's that's all I'm saying. Anyhow, into this article, Barstool Sports founder Dave Portney declaring himself the captain of <laughs> the captain of Link Marines, and mainstream media is starting to cover Link Market, the local top uh of 1018 percent rally so if you didn't catch this this was a uh, a story that we did a couple days ago david portney he is the uh ceo and i guess he was a former owner of bar stools he sold it for you know millions and millions of dollars uh a couple years ago but uh he actually sent out a, a tweet to the winkleboss twins and goes i don't understand bitcoin so come and teach it to me and ugh, these guys came over i guess that's what big money does when other big money guy says hey i need any help they're like sure um, actually, I think it's more so that he's got a, like, you know, a million plus Twitter followers. So, you know, they're just there to, uh, to push out the message. So they went over there and, uh, this guy bought $250,000, I think 200,000 went to Bitcoin, 50,000 went to Chainlink. And he was like, so impressed because he's, he does a lot with day trading now and he has a bunch of followers and they follow him on the day, his day trading ex expo. And uh, he's been tweeting a lot about cryptocurrency and digital assets. So that is fantastic news. What's not good news is that uh, I'm afraid that he probably, you know, <laughs> was victim of FOMO and bought in at uh, a high and probably kept buying and uh, probably lost right now. So, again, I see this as a positive for, for cryptocurrency and digital assets just to get the message out there. I think it's also negative uh, because you can see all the volatility. But who knows? Uh, they say... Uh, uh, all press is good press, right? So we'll see how that works out. Anyhow, finishing up, on-chain analyst Ali Martinez estimated that roughly 64 whales have now left the network. And you got to understand about whales, and that is that everybody's afraid of them, and you know they're so awful and, and whatnot. They're just, I mean, look, they're just people making money. And the thing is, is that uh, this is the same thing with Bitcoin. It's the same thing. Uh, whales control, or, you know, there was more whales, got to control the massive amount uh, of Bitcoin and they sell it or dump it, whatever you want to call it, and uh, when, when the price goes up because they're here to make a profit. But here's the thing. There's only so many whales out there and there's a lot of us, the, the small players, the ones that, uh, you know, pick this up. And these whales at some point, they're going to dump and they're going to they're gonna sell off. But at some point, these digital assets will be in the hands of the people that really deserve, not deserve, that really need it and want it and, and, and have strong hands and will hold on to it for quite some time. So it's all this, all these, this Bitcoin, these digital assets, this chain link that was in the hands of these whales 
is getting shaken out because these guys are like, I mean, they, they're not going to hold forever. Okay. They're going to sell it. They're going to invest into something else and get into something bigger or whatever else they're going to do, but that's how it works. And it's going to disseminate down to us and we're going to have more piece of the pie. Now, uh, there are ways to uh, not get caught with these whales, which is avoid the FOMO. And I always talk about it. There is, there is one rule. Actually, there's two rules of cryptocurrency. The first rule is we don't FOMO. The second rule is we don't FOMO. So if you just avoid those types of things, just be careful. Don't bet the farm you'll be okay. And then all these whales that are, are dumping or selling on us, uh, we'll just pick it up here and there. And uh, later on, whales get out because we have the control. All right, let me know what you think about that. Let's move on to the next story.